Alright guys, I thought of one more tutorial that should probably go out. Um, it's how to take a player from one roster and put him in another. As we know, Rashid Wallace was added to the 2K uh, rosters uh, through an online update. Uh, there is his uh, Cyberface file right there, 389. So what I'm going to do is show you how to get him from an old, to an old roster if you want to keep your old roster. So what you need to do is go into that old roster, load it up in-game, and create a created player in that roster named Rashid Wallace. Uh, because you can't change the names in the current roster editor. So we're going to load up the uh, current roster editor. And we're going to load up... Let's just make sure we can try to find the created uh, Rashid Wallace player that I, that I just created just now. Um, let's check around 1030 I believe is where it is. Nope, okay. Um, I didn't check this before, and I probably should have. Can I sort? I can sort. So we're looking for six, I believe. There he is. All right, so he's got an ID of 1058. And there he is right here. So this is Rashid Wallace that I created in this created, um, excuse me, the, the created player base roster. So this is where... You want to copy Rashid Wallace, the one that 2K updated, into this. So, how you're going to do that is you're going to go ahead and open up Sheed 2K. Now, this is a the official 2K um, update for Rashid Wallace. like Or, excuse me, a roster that has 2K's Rashid Wallace in it. So, just a, a new roster update, let's say. It could be any player. It doesn't have to be Rashid Wallace. It could be any player. I'm just using him as an example. So his ID was, what was it again? Boom, 389. So using the find, we're going to try to find 389. And we're going to find it. And there he is, Rashid Wallace, right there. So what we want to do is we want to copy this entire row because we want to copy all the information we can. So control C and we're going to put it into open office calc and paste it in. So here is Rashid Wallace. That's awesome. So now we're done with this, we can go to open go open up sheet cap. So again, this is the roster file that you want to put Rashid Wallace in to. So you create the player first name Rashid Wallace and then you go to the roster that has him in it copy all of his information and then you want to put, paste it in here. But if you remember, pasting information into this isn't as easy as it seems. So let's go down to 1058 was it? Right there. So we want to paste information into this row right here which is the row 1058. We can't just copy and paste this in because if we do it will paste into the 188 ID. So what we need to do is change this to 1058 to this right here. Then all we need to do is select all of this information right here. Select it all, copy it. Click anywhere, control, paste. There he is right there. That's his ID. He does not have a generic face anymore. He's gonna have his actual face. He has an actual team assigned and this is uh, legitimate since I already put his team to the Knicks, so he's right there on the bench, last in the bench. <laughs> and like I said, you can you know redo the uh, rotations in game. And so this is Rashid Wallace. This is all of his stats and everything. This is you know as legitimate as you're going to get it. You can keep the player type as two, which is the normal NBA player. You can change it back to six and have and have him be editable in the game. But uh, right now we'll just keep him as two. We'll be happy with what we have. We'll hit the Save Players button. And now if I load up this Sheed Cap um, roster file in the game, instead of having the created player uh, Rashid Wallace, I will have the legitimate Rashid Wallace, as legitimate as it can be in here. Now, some of the limitations of doing it this way, um, not everything is editable in this roster file. So just for an example... Um, the contract's legit. The signature shot, the signature free throw is all legit. Dunk packages are legit. 
um, the accessories would be the thing that needs to be updated. So in the game, um, you'd have to manually apply the accessories. But other than that, you know, it's not that hard of a thing to do. You just got to remember that you need to change this ID if you want it to uh, paste into the right section. So I hope that makes sense, and I hope you learned something today. Okay, bye-bye.